Hey everybody, Jeff from Show It here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the relationship between the mobile and desktop versions of your design and how they work together. So first, I wanna point out these options down here. You can toggle between showing both desktop and mobile, mobile only, or just desktop in your design. This is really great for small screens, particularly if you're working on a laptop and the side-by-side -side view is a little too large. However, we do suggest as a best practice that you design in the side-by-side -side view, and this video will show you why. A couple other things to note is that you can actually have a canvas only on desktop or mobile. As you can see here, this mobile navigation canvas is only on my mobile design, and that is indicated by this little phone icon here. Likewise, this new canvas is only on my desktop design as indicated by this icon here. Likewise, if I choose a canvas like our hero canvas here and click our options menu, which is these three dots, I can choose to hide an entire canvas from one version of the design or both. So if I uncheck this visibility on desktop, you'll see that that hero canvas is now gone and only on mobile. And again, we see this icon here. I could uncheck it from both if I wanted to, and it would show me it's hidden completely by this symbol here. Now let's use the example of adding a blank canvas here under our hero section that we want to put some service packages on. I'm gonna rename this package options. So here I'm going to add content to this canvas to style it out. At this point in time, since I'm only laying things out on my desktop design, I'll toggle over really quickly so I can get everything laid out just how I see fit here. Now, you'll see that I've run into a bit of an issue where I can't quite fit all three across here. If you do run into that issue, one tip is you could either size these all down individually, or I could simply size one down like this, get rid of my other images, and then I can simply duplicate this image here so I have the exact same size get them spaced out exactly how I want here, distribute the space, and make sure they're aligned to the center of the canvas and make sure they're centered on the group here on one another. Now that we've got that laid out, I can simply click these other options and replace them with the content that I want and it will maintain that size. Now we'll go ahead and add our text content down below and I'm just using shortcuts Command C and Command V to copy and duplicate this content here. So now we've got our three package options laid out here. If I toggle back to our mobile and desktop view, you'll see that my desktop canvas is a bit of a mess. That's because the way that this all works is as I add content to a canvas on one version of the design or the other, it's going to add that content to both versions of the design. Now, if I wanted to toggle specific content off, I could come over here under the page tab and I could use these toggle switches. So for example, if I select this first image here, you'll see that these two icons to the left look like mobile and desktop. If I click the desktop, it will leave the desktop version but not the mobile and vice versa. I can totally toggle it off both versions of the design if I'd like. Now, you'll see that I have a little bit of work to do over here on my mobile version. You can choose a canvas if you've added a lot of new content to it like this, and you can explore our layout mobile tool. We've got a separate video and help doc on that. Go ahead and check it out in our help center for more info. Or I would have the option to manually adjust this. So what I'm going to do is simply lengthen my canvas since I want this to be vertical on this particular design. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and hide all of my package text so that it's not cluttering up my screen while I start to lay this out. So I'll pull my content where I want it. Maybe I wanna stretch it out across the way here since it's on mobile and it works all right in that way in a vertical layout. Now that I've got those images laid out where I want them, I'm going to start toggling this content back on, starting with package one, and we will place these accordingly just where they need to be here, and package three, just like that. 
So now the really great thing is you get independent styling options between desktop and mobile. So let's say that I like this darker blocky text on desktop, but it's not quite working for me the way I'd like on mobile. If I select this piece of text, you'll see under our text style tab here, there are mobile and desktop tabs. So I can actually set this independently. So for example, let's say that I'd like to do this Lotto light font instead on mobile. I can do that without issue and it won't change anything on my desktop font. However, one thing to be aware of when designing between mobile and desktop is sometimes people will get something confused. So let's say for example, um, I add a couple of arrows that I want to um, advance through a gallery. So I'm just gonna add a quick image here. We'll pretend it's a gallery for all intents and purposes of this demonstration. So let's say that this is a gallery that I have on my site and I'm gonna go ahead and add some arrow icons so that people can click through this gallery. I'll add the first one and then we'll just go ahead and duplicate it so it's the same size and all that good stuff. All right, so now I've got this content added on desktop here. And what I'll come over here and do is also add this the same on mobile. So I'm going to select all three here and just hold the shift key and use the down arrow button to move this down accordingly. So what will happen sometimes on mobile is you're not realizing that maybe I grab the right arrow that is on desktop and I accidentally put it on the left side on mobile. just like that. So now you'll see that if I have this clicked and selected on mobile, it's actually my forward advancing arrow on desktop. And if I click to select this one on mobile, it's actually my previous button here on desktop. If you do that and then try to set a click action here for this gallery to advanced next, that is going to make the back button here on desktop have next. And then you'll fall into an endless loop of changing it on desktop to find out that it's not working on mobile, changing it on mobile, breaking it on desktop, so on and so forth. It can be a real point of frustration, but usually this is the case. You just need to simply switch these so that they match what you have created on your desktop version because a click action cannot be set separately between mobile and desktop. When there is a click action on a piece of content in your site, that click action will be applied for the desktop version and the mobile version of your site. So it is important to make sure that those items get situated correctly. I can also choose independent styling with colors and things like that. So if I go to my icon settings here, again, I have a mobile and desktop tab. And let's say I want them to be black on desktop, but stay this gray color on mobile. I can do that as well. Likewise, I could also change this on mobile here. If I wanted to make this a round image on mobile, I could do that while it remains on desktop. So you have a lot of powerful tools to help you dial in your desktop and mobile designs independently. We know that this can sometimes be a source of confusion, but we've given you this powerful tool as we find that upwards of 70% of consumers are looking for goods and services on their mobile device. There are simply some design styles and aspects that work great on desktop when your site's being viewed on a laptop or desktop computer that don't translate to a mobile device. So we've not pigeonholed you into a carbon copy of what you've created on desktop for mobile. We've given you the ability to really style that out independently and create a unique and defined experience for your mobile browsers. I hope this video has been helpful as you continue to build and launch your beautiful new site. If you need anything, just contact our team down here in the bottom right corner and we're happy to help. Until next time, happy creating.